to an issue the Secretary of Defense calls the irresponsible and unprecedented hold on Pentagon appointments that poses a, quote, clear risk to U.S. military readiness. Alabama's Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville has placed a months-long blockade on military promotions and has been in the news lately for his comments about white nationalism. CBS's David Martin spoke with the senator today. And I object. I object. And with that, I object. Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville of Alabama objects every time Democrats try to approve promotions for generals and admirals. In parliamentary terms, it's called a hold and it's caused a backup of more than 250 military nominations. What would it take for you to lift your hold on all these nominations? All they need to do is change it back to where it was. Tuberville is demanding that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin rescind this memo, authorizing paid leave and transportation costs for service members to travel to states where abortion is legal. Otherwise, Tuberville will keep his hold on promotions to major commands around the world, as well as the heads of the armed services. Aren't you dragging the military into politics? I want to keep politics out of the military. It is ruining our military. Defense Secretary Austin says Tuberville's hold harms America's national security and calls it irresponsible. And at least one veterans organization agrees. One lone senator, Tommy Tuberville, who never served in uniform himself, has held hostage hundreds of military assignments just to force his mega social agenda on women in the ranks. Even fellow Republicans like minority leader Mitch McConnell have criticized Tuberville's tactics and called recent remarks he made about white nationalists unacceptable. Do you believe they should allow white nationalists in? The military? Well, they call them that. I call them Americans. Remarks he now disavows. I'm totally against white uh, nationalism. I'm totally against it. It's racist, okay? We don't need that in the military. So white nationalists are unfit for service in they the U.S. Not military? They should be in our military. Yes, sir. So at least the defense secretary and the senator agree on one thing. But if Tuberville continues his hold on military promotions, there could be a backlog of 650 generals and admirals by the end of the year. Nora? Not to mention the effect on military families. David Martin with that important story. Thank you.